back with another video talking about how to prepare your bat, softball bat, fast pitch bat, baseball bat, whatever it is, how to prepare your bat for shipping. Um, what I mean by that is you want to obviously package the bat up safely so that it's it's in the it's in the box securely but what you're trying to do is create a deterrent for people that are going to try to do stupid crap uh, theft uh, you know postal service doing whatever they're going to do UPS all of those types of things so you're trying to create a deterrent when they see this they're going to go I really don't want to mess with that particular package because of these things that I'll show you here so what I want to talk about first is how to uh, package each end of the bat. Uh, we'll use an old Phoenix that I got here. You can use several different things, different packaging. You've got kind of your heavy packaging paper. You've got that you can use newspaper and if you have it which I like to use is your uh, foam all you're trying to do is pad the end of the bat and pad around the knob if you want to wrap up the rest of the bat around the barrel and the handle and everything that's fine it doesn't really do much good. All you're trying to do is pad the end of the bat and pad around the knob. That's that's it. So most people are going to have newspaper. Actually, these days they may not, but um, you'll have some kind of paper. A paper bag from the grocery store even will work. Uh, so we we'll use this. And what I usually do is just a half sheet of newspaper. And all you need is it for it to be like this. And you're going to cover up the end of the bat. Now, there's not a lot of padding there. I'm not really worried about padding very much because we throw these bats around in the dirt and the, you know, the, the concrete floor, the dugout, all that stuff, and they, they do just fine however many times we do that. So I'm not really concerned about that part. I'm more concerned about keeping the bat from moving around in the box. The more that you have it moving around in the box, then it's not that type of, it's, it's, you're not creating the deterrent you need to create because if it's moving around in the box easily, then somebody that wants to get into it, they know they can get into it easily without having to mess with a bunch of packaging or anything like that. They can get it out quickly. So that's the reason why you want to do that. So you want to cover the end so the bat can't move back and forth inside the box. The other thing, obviously, is you're going to do around the knob, and you want to pack that tight enough so it can't move around in the box. That's all you're trying to do. From there, it comes down to packaging up the box correctly. Now, this would work for... Uh, Rectangular, rectangular, square, box, whatever you want to call it that I'm going to show you here. But it would also work for um, the uh, postal triangles that you get, um, the post-it uh, boxes that you get, uh, any of them. Uh, what I would strongly recommend is not using a, a packaging tube. Um, that's not the deterrent you're trying to create. Anything in a tube... Uh, not a good idea. There's there's a lot of ways for people to get into it, and they kind of target those uh, particular types of packages. So I don't recommend that, but if you like to use tubes, then I still think that I would apply uh, some of these things I'm going to show you here to that. So if you notice, on each end of this, you've got um, clear tape completely covering every seam. You want to cover every seam. Under the clear tape, you want a very clear indicator that the only way to get into this package is they're going to have to breach whatever you put here. You can use duct tape, you can use painter's tape like I've used here, masking tape, whatever that is. 
highly recommend that you do this because, again, that creates a deterrent. If you have pictures of this package before you ship it, you could show the Postal Service or UPS or whatever that, hey, I had um, non-tamper-proof uh, sealants on this package, tape, whatever you want to call it, and that has been breached. The only way it could have been breached is to it had to have been cut. And you could use that along with the evidence of the damaged box or whatever um, and say that, hey, this had this on there. So strongly recommend that, doing that on both ends. If you notice, this end has completely sealed seams and also a tamper-proof piece of tape. The other thing I recommend doing is um, taping the length of each side of whatever box or package you're using. So if it's a, a square rectangular box like this, you're going to go down each side all the way down, just like that. And you're going to do all four sides, just like that. Now the reason I do that is, again, it's another deterrent. If they see this is taped all the way down the edge, then they're going to go, that's harder to get into that box. I don't want to mess with it. On top of that, it is also extra security um, during shipping, being thrown around, all that type of stuff. It's not going, going to allow a bat very easily, uh, if at all, to come out of this box because it has that tape uh, along the sides. If you want to go even further, you could even tape around in three sections, tape around here in the middle and at the end. Um, what that would do is even strengthen this tape that, that goes along the sides. So once you've done that, you take your pictures, you show your tamper-proof ends, you take your picture of your label, uh, you have a very clear uh, proof, or you have very clear proof to show whatever shipping company you've used that this is the box I sent, this is how it was sealed, and if there's any type of a claim for damage or theft or anything like that, you have a lot more to stand on. On top of that, it's very... Uh, it, you're you're increasing your chances of the of the bat uh, making it to its destination safely during normal wear and tear and all that during the shipping process. So, a uh, quick video. I know it was seven eight minutes to get this out, but uh, I think it would help. Uh, I had in all the years that I've done this, I've had very limited issues with um, uh, you know bats getting uh, damaged or stolen or anything like that. So, hopefully this helps. Um, till next time, thanks for watching.